Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on simple stresses and strain. For that, here is a question. It is given two vertical rods, one of steel and other of bronze, suspended at a distance 600 mm apart. So two rods are given, in between their distance is given. And here the diagram is not given into the problem. We have to remember, we have to draw the diagram on our own. So reading the question is quite important here. Each rod is 3 meter long and 12 mm in diameter that is both steel and bronze rod are equal in length and diameter and a horizontal crossbar connects the two rods and on it a load of 4500 Newton is placed so that the crossbar remains horizontal. Find the position of the load. We have to find the distance at which this load is kept and the stresses in each rod that is in steel and bronze rod. Young's modulus for both the materials are given. I'll write the data along with the drawing the diagram. So here into the question it is given that <coughs> two vertical rods one of steel and other of bronze suspended at a distance 600 mm apart I have shown it onto the diagram then each rod is 3 meter long for steel rod the length is 3 meter it is 3000 mm similarly for bronze rod The length is same, 12 mm in diameter, so area would also be same, area would be pi by 4, 12 square, it gives me the value as 113.097 mm square, same value of area. Next. A horizontal crossbar connects the two rods and on it a load of 4500 Newton is placed so that the crossbar remains horizontal. So here there is a crossbar over which a load is placed. Four thousand five hundred Newton and it keeps the bar horizontal as given in the problem. We have to find the position of load on the crossbar and stresses in each rod. So to find the position from left hand side, I'll say that the distance is x which we have to calculate position of the load and stress in steel rod and bronze rod denoted by sigma suffix b. Now with the data understood we can solve the problem. Now how I would be solving this question is since both the rods are subjected to the same load this can be treated as a problem of bars in parallel where the strain in both the rods are same because the lengths are same and subjected to same load. So I will start the solution part. That since for bars in parallel, the strain in both the materials are same. So, strain in steel and strain in bronze, they are same. Strain is stress upon Young's modulus for steel and for bronze. That is from Hooke's law. So, therefore, ES would be shifted onto the other side.
the value of Young's modulus given in the problem. It is for steel 1.96 into 10 raised to 5 megapascal. It means 1.96 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Similarly, for bronze 0 0.63 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. I will put their values. Sigma S comes out to be 3.11 Sigma suffix B. Equation 1 that is the stress in steel is 3.11 times greater than the stress in bronze. Now I will also write the relation that stress is load upon area so load in steel upon area of steel similarly for bronze since both the area are same they can get cancelled out so load in steel is 3.11 times higher than the load in bronze So this is the second equation. It means whenever we have stress relation in a similar manner we can get the load relation as well and since here the area was same I cancelled this area. Now I would be drawing the FBD for the rigid bar or the cross bar which is connected over here. Since the load is acting in the downward direction both the materials would resist the load by offering reactions in the opposite direction so drawing FBD that is a free body diagram for the crossbar So here we can see that when this load is acting in the downward direction there are reactions offered by both the material that is steel and bronze. The reaction offered by steel is P suffix S similarly for bronze P suffix B. So I will use the condition of equilibrium. The first condition is summation of all vertical forces summation of Fy is equal to 0 because here we have only vertical forces. Convention upward forces are treated positive and downward forces negative so therefore we have PS plus PB minus W is equal to 0 therefore PS plus PB minus W when it goes on to the right side it becomes plus W now as we can see from equation number second PS is 3.11 times of PB I will put this value W is given as 4500 Newton and here I will write down that we can refer equation second so here the coefficient is 1 3.11 plus 1 that becomes 4.11 so 4500 divided by 4.11 that gives me the value of P suffix B that is the reaction offered by the bronze rod or the force acting in the bronze rod the answer is 1094.89 Newton This PB value again I will put in equation 2 to get the answer of PS.
it is 3.11 into 1094.89 so therefore p suffix s comes out to be so when i multiply this i am getting the answer as 3405.11 newton so this much is the load which is acting on or the reaction offered by the steel rod now after getting this we have to also find the value of x that is the distance at which this load is kept once we know the reactions offered by steel and bronze i can take the moment for example if i am taking the moment at suppose point this i'll just give it the notation that this is point a so when i am taking the moment at a i can easily calculate this distance x so the second condition of equilibrium would be used summation of moment about point a is equal to 0 where the convention is clockwise moments are positive and anti clockwise moments are negative so therefore here we have minus pb because it is producing an anti clockwise moment minus pb into 600 plus this w is acting in the downward direction so it is producing a clock moment when i take the moment at point a w into x is equal to 0 and the moment of this p suffix s load in steel the moment is 0 because there is no difference between this point and the load no perpendicular distance so the value of moment is 0 so here i would be putting the values minus pb into 600 it would go on to the other side w value is 4500 into x so and pb value is 1094.89 into 600 so from this i am getting the answer of x and it is 145.98 mm so very close to 146 mm approximately equal so the load should be placed at a distance of 146 mm from point a or from the left hand side that's the first answer now the next part is we have to find the stresses in both the materials so first i would be calculating the stress in bronze that is sigma suffix b the stress in bronze is load in bronze upon the area of bronze pb is 1094.89 area is 113.097 so from this the stress in bronze comes out to be 9.68 newton per mm square that's the second answer in a similar manner we can find the value for steel by using load upon area or simply we can use equation number one where it was the relation of stress sigma b is already known i'll put the value in equation one so sigma s is 3.11 into 9.68 so therefore the stress in steel comes out to be 30.10 newton per mm square so that's the third answer and when we see the data we have found the distance at which the load should be placed and the stresses in both the materials and with this the problem gets completed at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching